more on the Bach saga. This uh, little chapter is called Ash Tree, Askrede, and Yggdrasil, Tree of Life. According to the heathen people, although the spirit flies on the wings of one's last breath, the soul remains in the body. The friends and family present at the ceremony would lift the naked body of the guman, guman Ella, onto a bier and carry it to the Sibo Berget next to the Atastupa, where the funeral pyre would have been prepared. Then placed her body on the pyre and set it alight to reduce her body to ashes. All the people in the boats anchored outside Gumbastrand witnessed the smoke rising into the air. The ashes containing her soul were then placed into an oxbong, which is a sack made of the testicles of an ox or a bull, and taken to the west of Udinma, where the tall family tree reached into the sky. This was an ash tree that was still growing in the area of Snapertuna until recently. At the base of the ash tree, a small hole was dug to bury the ashes of the Guman Ella, where the ashes came into contact with the soil. It mixed with the moisture of the roots of the ash tree and would absorb that soul, contained it in the ashes. And so the soul of the Guman Ella entered the salve or sap of the family tree. The salve went into the trunk of the ash tree, up the branches and all the ways into the twigs and leaves. When Solon Straller, the sun's rays shine through the leaves of an ash tree in the morning. The life leaves the leaves by evaporating into the atmosphere. Okay, so we see here the oldest story, maybe one of the oldest stories ever told, is in re it also knew and referenced how important family was, and they had a family tree. Each family had a sacred tree, and they would all be buried, their ashes buried at the roots of it. And they believed their soul would move on as it went up through the tree into the leaves and then eventually evaporated into the cosmos to go back into spirit. Centrifugal force also plays a key role in, the, in this transition. Cent, C-E-N-T, means center or to send. Re, R-E, means again and again, to repeat. Fugue means to join together. All means everything, or all. The everything put together again towards the center. Centrifugal means everything put together again towards the center. This figlior, or soul power, finds its way back through the centrifugal force to the North Pole where the Lemminkainen lives. There in Valhalla, he breathes the R, or air, or in another connotation, the Ra, which he transmits to his sperm, thereby keeping the wheel of life turning. The breathing of the R, or air, makes him a breeder. This function is the main reason he's not allowed to leave Udenma until the next Lemminkainen takes over. When the soul flies through the air to the North Pole, it has a feminine quality. In Dutch, the white dew is called Witweven, the white woman. This voyage to the north is symbolized by the flight of the white birds or angels. At this stage, the journey of the soul is called Valk Valkyrior. Okay, this, you know, birds have always always been associated with high and mighty with God because they have this, they fly so high, man wants to fly, but also because they have this, you know, never-ending vision because they're, they're so far up there. So this is not any different than all these other these are the other um, spiritual systems where your soul is uh, often taken or represented by the flight of a bird. It's all over ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia. Um, it's also in the Toltec, some Native American tradition. Okay, Yggdrasil, the tree of life in the middle of paradise. In the Bach Saga, it symbolizes all that lives and recreates itself. 
There is a mythological image of the tree Nornor, or the Sisters of Fate, spinning the destiny of the human race at the foot of Yggdrasil. If they are able to spin it well, the destiny of the planet and its people bodes well. Next to Yggdrasil is the Brunin, a well of eternal youth from where the water flows over the planet. This water is life water. The custom of bringing the ashes to Yggdrasil lasted until the last members of the Bach family passed away. Eeyore's mother, Rhea, her brother Raphael, and sister Rachel were the last whose ashes were buried by the ash tree in Snapertuna. The tree of paradise, Yggdrasil, was the oldest tree in the world at the time it was cut down in 1993 by the gardener of the church, churchyard where it stood. So that particular place where he's talking about here is in Helsinki, Finland, on one of the seven islands just outside of, of Helsinki, where the original North Pole once was, and this very sacred ancient Yggdrasil tree, the tree of life. This particular gardener didn't like the many visitors that the Bach saga attracted to the quiet garden in the churchyard in Snappertuna. He also removed the weather vane of the Bach family he had donated 200 years before, that was donated 200 years before, from the roof of the church after it was pointed out to him that he had the shape of a Bach, which he associated with the devil. A cutting of the original Yggdrasil was made from a rootscot and preserved by one of Eeyore's friends and is growing well at the time of this writing. Some other ash trees, presumably offsprings of the original one, grow nearby and there is where Eeyore's ashes were buried. The ashes of all other people on the planet in paradise time were buried under their oak own family trees, which were varieties of the... I'll just point out from experience that in the Native American tradition, certain trees are very sacred. Excuse me, very sacred. Um, and one of those is the ash tree. Um, certain... Uh, spiritual items or regalia they have to be made of certain trees and there the ash tree is essential to um to the chinupa which is a sacred pipe which is the when put together with the bowl and the stem it represents the unity of earth and spirit of god and man of male and female and it has to be made from an ash tree so Back in the day, before the Roman Empire came, came around, uh, spiritual traditions of Northern Europe, people were initiated into different castes or different roles um, or different tribes or different families based on the tree of those tribes of those families. So you would be initiated under, say, an oak tree or an elm tree or an ash tree or a rowan tree or a holly tree, and they were all unique and different um, spiritual roles that you would take on if you were initiated under those trees. So there you go, Yggdrasil, the tree of life, in the original garden of Eden, which is Asgard, Uden, the guard of Uden. <laughs>